to make this scroll I'm using number 10 thread and a 1.5 millimeter hook. You can use the same or any size thread and hook you feel comfortable with. Take a piece of thread of about one meter or one yard Put the two ends together and fold. So you have four threads of four strains of thread which will form the cord. Now make a starting loop. Insert the hook. Now place the hook in the loop between the four threads and at first when you're learning to crochet over cord hang on to this bit it makes it a little bit easier once you're more used to doing it you can tuck this thread and crochet it in but when you first start it's a little bit easier to have something to hang on to so you, st you, you put your hook between the threads and you make a single cro a, a, a slip stitch. You hang on to the tail end, stick the hook between the threads and make a slip stitch. Then do 56 single crochet over the cord. To make a, a stitch over the cord you hook under the cord and bring the thread over and make a single crochet. So under the cord don't worry if the stitches aren't evenly spaced at first you can adjust that Once you've done a few, you can slide the stitches on the cord and space them a little bit closer together or further apart as, it's, as is needed. So it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You see now that I've made a few stitches, I can hold both ends of the work in one hand and then I can crochet around. It takes a little bit of dexterity but you do get better as you go along. At first you're all thumbs and fingers and you stumble along but once you get going you're fine. Practice makes perfect. So now we have 56 stitches over the cord and you can move these stitches along, spread them out, bring them closer, so just make a nice bow out of the stitches. So it's all nice and straight. And now you hook into the back of the 20th single crochet from the hook. So count back to the 20th stitch from the hook. Slip your hook in to the back of it along the cord. And place the cord over your hook and make a slip stitch. So you form the little ring 
at the end of the cord. Now what you do is chain one, turn and you're going to drop the cord now you're not going to use this cord and do one double crochet in each stitch one double crochet chain one one double crochet into the next stitch chain one one double crochet and so round the ring. When you approach the end of the ring instead of making a double crochet into each stitch you start making one into every other stitch. The reason is because you don't have to accommodate the turning round the ring. So now you do chain one, one double crochet into the second stitch and you do this now to the end so here we're approaching the end So when you've reached the end, chain one and turn round. Now in each gap you do two single crochet. So and do this to the end. So in every gap, one, two. Now we're back at the end. What you do now is turn around, pick the cord back up, and now over the cord make 20 single crochet over the previous row. So over the cord make 20 single crochet you always have to make sure that you don't separate the threads in the cord and accidentally hook into two or three instead of the four. If you do that you won't be able to adjust the tension so easily. So once you've done the, tw the 20 single crochet you're now going to crochet only over the cord again. What you do now is three double crochet over the cord alone. Now we're going to make a picot. Chain five, two, three, four, five, and make a slip stitch at the base of the chain. There we go. And now 
make three more double crochet over cord alone. So now what we're going to do is we're going to count four on the previous row one, two, three, four and make a single crochet into the next one. So a single crochet into the fifth. Again now three double crochet over cord alone. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. A slip stitch in the base, double crochet three more. One, two, three. Count four on the previous row. One, two, three, four and a single crochet into the fifth. If you look at the way I hold my work, I'm holding one side with the hand I've got the hook in and I'm holding the thread over my finger, I'm holding the cord between my thumb and my ring finger. You can hold it whatever way you like, whatever way works for you. You might have to experiment a little bit and try various different methods when you're learning to crochet over cords you have to just like with any other crochet adapt your style to what it what you find the most comfortable there are no real rules but in all crochet tension is very very important it's the tension that helps you get the work done I'm adjusting the tension of the thread and I'm also holding the cord and that way it's quite easy to get the crochet done but whatever works for you, you, you do it another double crochet one two three chain five, one, two, three, four, five One, two, three, four on the previous row. One, two, three, four. Single crochet into the fifth. Now you can start to see the start of the scroll, but it's all kind of rubbed. So what you do is you adjust the tension and the slip the stitches slide over the cord so you can actually change the shape of something you can make it tighter or looser see pull it tight or spread it out so let's continue now with this into the end I've just noticed that I'm a little bit short on cord. The way to extend it is to take some thread and loop it in. There we go. So I can crochet over this now and I still got my four strands. So now we've reached the end, chain one and keep a long piece of, cut a long tail. The reason you need a long tail is you might want to sew the scroll onto another motif and also to secure the end of your cord. So adjust the tension check which side is going to be the right side you might be using this side or you might be using that side it depends which way you want the scroll to run 
but on on the bed on the reverse side took the cord over like this and put a few stitches in and then cut off the end you don't need to worry too much about it slipping it's pretty secure as it is so here we have the, the scroll in the next video I'm going to show you how to make rings